Hey, it's tough to be an entrepreneur anytime, right? Here are four things you need to know about how hard it was for African-American women just over a hundred years ago. They faced uniquely difficult challenges. 1. Segregation. Long after emancipation, prejudice and racism persisted. 2. Almost no access to basic education. 3. Restricted to domestic work and menial tasks. 4. Widespread racial bias, not only applying for a patent, but in everyday life. Just imagine what it takes to succeed in this kind of world. But Sarah Good was a strong, determined and clever woman who overcame all this to become a pioneering female inventor. So let's hear her story. Sarah Elizabeth Good was born in 1855 in Toledo, Ohio, where her parents, Oliver and Harriet, were involved in organising the Ohio Anti-Slavery Society. Early in her life, she moved to Chicago, Illinois, and there she met and married Archibald Good, who worked as a carpenter and furniture maker. Despite a busy family life, the couple found a ready market for the pieces of furniture they made. Shortly after arriving in Chicago, they opened their own furniture store in the city. At that time in America, lots of people were leaving the countryside and moving to the cities where it was easier to find work. Space was limited and big families had to fit themselves into small apartments. Sarah spotted this problem early and set about figuring out a clever way to save space. She came up with an ingenious solution, a bed that folded away into a cabinet. She and her husband set to work using their furniture making skills and produced a design for the folding bed cabinet, which when the bed was folded away looked like this. She knew her idea was a good one and drew up an application for a patent to make it legally her own and took it to the city's patent office. But it wasn't easy for her. Before the American Civil War, African Americans were unable to own patents. With emancipation came a change in the law, but it was still a challenge for Sarah as a woman in a man's world. But she didn't give up. In 1885, she was awarded a US patent for her folding bed, making her one of the first African-American women to hold a patent. Let's remember how, despite the disadvantages she faced, this impressive woman made such an important contribution to the world of early engineering technology. Thank you, Sarah Good. Yeah.